Hey guys, so as you read by the title, we're going to be doing a tour at the Forest Theater located in South Dallas, Texas. And I cannot wait. I am so excited. But first guys, before we do that, we're going to take a trip over to my grandmother's house and just to ask her some questions. My grandmother is the one who always talks about this theater because it was up and running while she was a teen. Every time we would pass by the theater, she would always tell me about some of her memories. Memories. so I thought to share them with you so guys this is a different video and I hope you guys like it I'm excited so I hope you guys will like it as well so guess what is opening up what? your favorite spot the South Dallas Forest Theater for speed forest theater oh forest theater yes Who's like so they're still making up a plan but they're opening to do tours inside first off thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview grandmother so <laughs> you had a lot of memories over there right I did. it is like one of the most recent memories you have from being over there oh man it was great uh, I wish it was could go back South Dallas was a uh, place that I grew up in when I was a little girl and came all the way up until like uh, 17, 18, 19 years old, somewhere in there, and we moved to Oak Cliff. Mm -hmm. And actually, you could uh, sit on the porch and have your doors open and sleep on the porch and mm -hmm. whatever you wanted to do. And uh, it was great. Nobody never did come in and mess with us. It was just a fun time. It's so sad that kids now can't enjoy life like we did when we was growing up because it was just like, uh, you, this is my territory, don't come over here. And we used to fight and not shoot and cut and, and stab and and kill. It was just, if you got a whooping, you just got a whooping, you went somewhere <laughs> and sit down. The kids now just don't have the the the, uh, the purpose to go out and have a great time. Mm -hmm. And South Dallas, the Green Cake, uh, Paris, is, those were the restaurants that stayed open all night long. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used to walk to the Forest Theater. Had a good time. We weren't fearful because we just walked from Warren uh, all the way down to the bridge. Pennsylvania and that area and all the oh. way down from Hatchet, all that. We used to walk from all the way down those streaks like that. And we had a great time. We just enjoyed each other. We met different people, you know, kids and things. So we had a wonderful time. But it's kind of sad. You all did not get to enjoy life. Cause we just had a good time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Forest Theater, we used to go there and watch the movie. Which one movie that you remember I watching? Not, I forgot. Okay. I forgot all the movies back there. <laughs> The days are very nice. Mm -hmm. I, my heart go out to this generation now because they, they don't, they can't enjoy life. We had a great time. When wasn't drugs and stuff as bad as like it is now. We just they was doing it, but it wasn't as it was kind of rare, you know. Mm -hmm. People that did it, we just didn't hang around with mm -hmm. them. I know they're coming up with a reopening plan. So do you think when they ever reopen it now, would you go visit it now? Or? Of course I would. Okay. I'd be thrilled to go off in there. Okay. Bring back memories. <laughs> Every time I pass through that, I'd be, my mind be saying, I wish somebody would buy that mm -hmm. and at least redo that and keep it in the uh, history. Back in the days, it was white all back in there, but when black moved in there, they moved out. I remember, like, every time we would pass by, you would always tell me something about it. And it always made me want to go inside there. But never had the opportunity to just go in there because it was closed. Um, and it's a lot of, like, graffiti and stuff like that. And I also heard that they opened it up one time, but closed it back or something. And I hope they keep it in the black area in the history. I hope they keep the streets and thing name after because, you know, it's, it's was sad. Mm -hmm. And the bus and thing that we used to travel on, I, it's too bad they didn't keep one of those. Well, thank you, Granny. You are a good interviewee. You did, you're so natural. You done this before, huh? Of course not. Oh.
So guys, unfortunately, I wasn't permitted to film inside the building, but I hope this um, encourages you guys to come visit the theater. Um, reason why I couldn't film is because they're coming up with the ideas of how they want the inside to look. So make sure you guys come visit and just take a tour and let me know if y'all want to take a tour to see and I can just connect you um, or you can follow them on Instagram and let them know um, that you want to do a tour and just and they'll ask for your information and it's really quick and easy and they're doing a lot of things for this community and I'm just so happy that this is going on so make sure you guys get informed and support what you say about this place right here, Granny? That's a packing house meat market. And you just, and what happened? We used to, I used to work there. And what happened? I ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> she walked down here, the master race, there used to be a group that was singing. Hmm. This used to be the ice house right here. Hmm. Okay, this used to be Mr. Webb liquor store right here. All these used to be club. This what? Up over on the corner with club, and this oh. used to be a grocery store right there. We used to walk back to the grocery store.